ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Modsville USA, back with another video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Prometheus OS, a brand new open source operating system for Xenium mod chips. Uh, this might be getting ported uh, over to XBlast chips as well, but that is a work in progress at this time. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how to acquire and install Prometheus OS. And we're just going to take a look. I haven't played around with it yet. It's looking really cool. Um, but yeah, I figured I'm going to install it and might as well take you guys along for the journey. So I'm going to have all this linked. This is the release page of version 1.0.1. .1, and this is open source. So uh, anyone can play around with it make it do what you want to do etc so this is from team resurgent and we're going to come over and grab the latest version of pandora if you want a more in-depth video on this check out uh, mr mario's uh, recent xpins video i'll have that link down below as well um, dedicated on pandora okay so we've got pandora downloaded we extracted the zip file somewhere uh, boot up the exe and we'll be met with this page and all we gotta do is click connect got a nice little uh, dial tone here and there we go give it a little bit to do its thing and we are in um, if you're familiar with xpins this is a much nicer way of uh, doing this as it's a been around since for like over 20 years now I imagine and uh, you know it's IRC and it's just kind of a pain to get going um, without Pandora so this is very nice so we click Xbox console based applications and then we go to BIOS and here we go Prometheus OS so here we have all of our different BIOSes Sir BIOS um, Pandora, original Xenium BIOS is here as well. But we're going to be doing Prometheus OS. And here's the latest version. Right click, choose download. And there we go, progress bar down at the bottom. Okay, so once you get it downloaded, you'll find it in your wherever you extracted your Pandora zip to in your Pandora folder. Um, we're going to have a zip, open it up, Prometheus OS, v1.0.1, and drag that over uh, somewhere. So I already have that done, and we've got some things here. So we've got Xenium Tools. We're going to be using this to flash it, um, to flash our Xenium chip with this Prometheus OS version 1.01. .01. Um, skins, we've got a bunch of pre-made skins here um, so yeah now we just gotta FTP everything over to our Xbox and here I am on my Xbox with Xenium installed I've got the original Xenium OS so I'm gonna go to the launch menu and this is running HD plus, so I'm going to be booting up Serbios HD. Okay, so I asked uh, Equinox what the file structure is, and we're going to want to do this for uh, skins. So make a new folder, call it Prometheus OS, like this OS capitalized P capitalized and skins go in there, and we're going to drag this to the root of our C drive. Alrighty, so here we are on the Xbox. So we're gonna come in here, I've got Ethernet hooked up. There's my IP, so I'm gonna connect to it. Um, FileZilla, whatever FTP program you like. Okay, and here we are. We're gonna do type in the IP address here, 50.43, Xbox, Xbox enter okay and here we go so C drive we are gonna transfer over 
Prometheus OS that we just made. Let's get the skins in there so we should be able to toggle between the skins. Okay. And now Exenium tools. So what we do with this, um, I'm going to put this in my apps folder. It's a homebrew application. We're going to transfer over Exenium tools as well as Prometheus OS. Boom. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to hit B from XPMC for Gamers. I'm going to go to Applications. And we're going to look for Xenium tools that we just transferred. Hit A on that. And now we go Rider Raw 2 megabyte flash dump. And we're going to choose Prometheus. And it is writing the flash right away. So this is the moment of truth. Let's hope we don't brick. And uh, while this is writing, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor. Big ups to today's sponsor, PCB Way. If you're in the market to get some PCBs manufactured, 3D print work done, or CNC machining, PCB Way has you covered. My personal favorite is the retro stuff section under shared projects. If you find a project you like, you can order one directly from the page with the choice of having it assembled as well. The creators of these projects even get a cut from your purchase. Click the link in the description if this interests you. Now, let's get back to the show. Okay, finished flashing. So now if we reset, we should be good to go. Um, one thing I feel like it's worth mentioning, if you have a bunch of Xeniums that you want to flash, uh, all you really got to do is, uh, well, one, you need to take off the top shell and take out the DVD drive. Use a BIOS that supports uh, no DVD, like Sir BIOS. And if you ground D0, the D0 wire, instead of having it connected to the mod chip, um, what you can do is do a bunch of hot swap in here. Um, we just flashed it. So if we wanted, we can be in there. Pull the chip up, plug a new one in, and flash it. And we can just go through our stack of Xenia mod chips and uh, flash it this way. So worth mentioning. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but that's something you can do if you wanted. So let's reset and uh, see what's up. Well, goddamn, ladies and gentlemen, this looks uh, pretty fucking clean already. So we got launch bank, and we're going to need to completely um, reflash all of the BIOSes that we had. This is a clean slate here. So we got bank management. We can flash bank. System settings. System info. Let's see what it can tell. It's our CPU tells the revision see the RAM sees the serial audio video okay we've got a region region code it knows our encoder oh and it can even tell the um, HD plus along with the firmware version in here very cool about very cool Prometheus OS Team Sir BIOS plus Team Resurgent encoded by Equinox. Very nice. Um, we've got a region. North America knows what's up. Change that if we want it. It's got our IP address here. Prometheus OS. Let's go skins. Okay. And those skins we transferred over to the C drive. These are all here. Hey, hey, Halo, Harley Quinn, <laughs> Porn up. a lot of horny skins in here. Oh, Nemesis' skin looks nice. Hell yeah. 
Open Exenium. Got Pop, Team Resurgent. Another horny skin for you. Rocky 5, nice and clean, classic Rocky 5 skin. Team Resurgent. Oh, I like that one. Xbox scene dark. Xenium tools theme. Very nice. Now this Amiga skin looks real cool. Dempsey's got his chocolate skin. EQ's skin. Looks nice and clean. His family <laughs> portrait. Feeling blue, that's fucking cool. Fauci's skin looks real nice. I'm going to stick with the Amiga. I like that. We got a boot delay. We tweak the LED color of our Exenium here. And we even got skin. Uh, we even got snake. That's sick. Ah, oh, bummer. That's great. Okay, so let's uh let's flash a bank. So bank management, flash bank. Okay, okay, so flash bank is over the HDD. Okay, so if we go bank management, that'll flash it over the hard drive. I'm assuming if we punch in our IP address right here, um. I'm going to use Firefox. If we punch in our IP address, we should be able to flash over network. Sick. So I uh, typed in my IP address. I'm using, I'm just here in uh, Brave Browser, which is working. And uh, this does not really work that well on more modern browsers when using uh, Xenium OS or uh, X blast so this is very nice let's do download BIOS flash all right so I went ahead and grabbed the um, latest sir BIOS um, HD from X bin slash Pandora and all I did I brought it in the sir BIOS tool and changed UDMA mode to UDMA 6 because I'm using a StarTech adapter I'm gonna go save BIOS and I want to change the name to UDMA 6 okay. we're choosing a file here we're gonna do UDMA 6 and I'm gonna just name it Serb HD UDMA 6 turquoise upload And there we go. And we can also download our EEPROM from the browser, which is very nice. Even launch it from our browser. Launch TSOP or what we just flashed. Now I want to check out the um, FTP because I've heard that FTP has been greatly improved from the OS compared to Xenium OS, which you need a DVD drive hooked up for it to even work. It's just not good. So let's check that out. Um, we're going to try it with the same credentials here. And it does use the standard and we connect it right away. Um, it even sees our F drive. Oh, that's awesome. So this can handle a, a Sir BIOS formatted. This is a 4 terabyte that I have here. So we can just FTP right into it, um, do what we want without even booting a BIOS. That's really good. All right, here's our C drive. So I'm going to also update my Elpis HD application while I'm in here. So I'm going to drag this to my C drive, overwrite all. It worked perfectly, um, really quickly. Okay. 
Let's go back and boot a bank, see how that goes. Serbios HD, Udemy May 6. And we're booting up. Well, that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, if you've uh, got some Xenia mod chips, uh, this is the way to do it. Um, there's no point in staying on a Xenium OS. Everything has been improved. Much easier for the end user to make new uh, skins for it. Uh, this is great. This is this is a pretty substantial development uh, for the original Xbox. I love it. All right, guys. I want to have Team Resurgence, um, Ko-Fi, and Patreon linked down below. Uh, they're doing awesome work and you know a lot of time goes into this so if you appreciate uh, this kind of stuff all these rad developments for the original xbox they're doing it for the love of the game and um some money would absolutely help keep these things going i'm donating and um i recommend pledging as well or just a one-time deal with ko-fi Highly recommend it. Um, this shit's awesome, and if you appreciate it and you're using it and you like it, I recommend uh, doing the same. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you upgrade your Xenium to Prometheus OS. No reason not to do it. It is superior in every way, as far as I can tell. Uh, so thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next video.